July 4th is a time to celebrate America's independence, and Ebru's Femi Redwood talked to veterans who fought in different wars and who are living proof that the fight to preserve America's freedom is worth every last breath. On this 4th of July, we can't forget the brave men and women who fought for our freedom and the troops fighting right now. Today, we speak to America's heroes and find out what Independence Day means to them. I remember where I was on 4th of July. I was in uh, Balad in Iraq, and it was a horrible sandstorm. It turns everything like Mars. Army veteran Ryan Stack spent 13 months in Iraq. He faced 140 degree temperatures and life risking missions. I remember sitting there and realizing I'm going to appreciate this day more than I ever had before. Because you hear the stories, you watch the movies, until you actually put the uniform on and uh, serve. You don't, you don't take it for granted anymore. He now serves as a coordinator at the United War Veterans Council in Lower Manhattan working to honor all servicemen. This is where we also find Vietnam vet Robert Skibar. After serving two tours, Skibar says his meaning of Independence Day has changed. You know, if you asked me this question when I was six years old, I would say the 4th of July or something is a time to go out and watch fireworks. If you asked me when I was a teenager, I might say it's a time to set off fireworks. If you asked me as, a, as an adult, as a, as a military person, uh, it's a, suddenly it's an appreciation for what we have. Fellow Vietnam vet and director of the UWVC, Pat Gualteri, is also appreciative, especially for the founding fathers in 1776. These guys that saying if we don't stick together, we're going to hang together. That was, Be that was Fr Benjamin Franklin. 80-year-old Korean War vet Eddie Bergendahl is also grateful for the freedom he says our forefathers created. These people, farmers, merchants, lawyers, or from all over, you know. They didn't have number seven subway or the 32 bus or the internet. And they got the call, you know what I mean, to, to establish an independent nation. So between the barbecues, the fireworks, and the parades, we celebrate all troops on this 4th. For Ebru News, I'm Famie Redwood.